Hello my friends, Adam at the Battle of PHP here. And here we have the third and final part of Discover the Magic of Dynamic XML PHP Files, which are PHP extension type files that render out and spit out perfect XML for all of your XML driven applications. And in this final part, part three, we're going to create MySQL database information XML files. And if you go to develop PHP, you'll see I already have a tutorial on how to do this for RSS feeds which are XML based and I have I've had this one here for a long long time since 2008 since December 2008 I've been showing how to create magic XML files but nobody's really catching on yet so I'm gonna go way in depth here in this three-part series which I've already done so far if you check out part one and two you'll see what I'm talking about now we have the last file which is called dynamic mysql xml.php and the only difference is from this rss dynamic xml tutorial i show i'm taking out all of this rss channel atom crap from the code so nobody gets over confused about what's going on here and we're just going to simplify it for database results so let's see what we have here and you'll see that we started off with the content type being listed as text XML again that way the browser or whatever application that's reading this file knows that it's going to be an XML file or XML structure then we start the XML body variable we initialize that with the version and encoding type then we start the XML opening tag here so the XML opening tag compounds into the XML variable so this value won't overwrite what's already here it will basically just take this and put it on the tail end of this it'll kind of append and keep adding to this XML body variable if you put the dot equal sign there that's what the dot equal sign does if you have just an equal sign right here it would have overwritten what you already established that was in the XML body so you don't want to do that you want to make sure it says dot equals so it appends to that variable then we connect to our MySQL database here. You use your database host name, your database username, your database password, and then the actual database name right there. So you put in those four pieces of data regarding your MySQL database, and the script will run for you. Then you make a query that says SQL variable is equal to MySQL query select all from my table. You put your table name here. Order by date time. That would be your date time field listed here descending limit 0 20 so it's limiting it by 20 results so you'll only get 20 results from this query if you wanted 100 results you change that 20 to 100 it's very simple then we have a while loop which if you're used to working in MySQL and rendering out data results you, you know how a, a while loop works and all the data from those results all 20 results can be looped out of the database and rendered or stacked into other data display methods or whatever. Here we're going to stack it into a data display method of the XML body variable. So before we set up that variable and add these nodes and child nodes to it, we're going to set local PHP variables for the row data coming out of the database. So the ID, the title, the date time, and the description of that entry will all come out into these variables here then we can use them within our XML body so the parent node is data and the child nodes inside of that data node is data ID data title data date and then data description so this tag will be rendered out 20 times to the XML file in a nice magical sort of way then you simply close your MySQL well you end the while loop and then you close the MySQL connection and then the XML body finally gets one more piece appended to it which is the closing XML tag after you render out all the nodes you want to close up that XM, the main XML tag and then you just echo out XML body when needed and that's pretty much how it works and do not fear I'm gonna have each one of these scripts for lessons one two and three available for you guys to just copy and paste I'm gonna have the link to where you can go and grab these all this uh, scripting from develop PHP I'm gonna put links in the YouTube video description area I think the new description area is right under the videos now 
so under the videos you expand the description and you'll see there's a link there you click that link and you go to develop PHP snatch up this code and test it out in your server and that completes discovering the magic of dynamic XML PHP files